This video describes the grid controls UI elements and API that allows you or your end users to add or remove data rows. You'll first learn how to enable the built-in data navigator, then how to use the Microsoft Outlook inspired new item row to add new records. Finally, the video will show you the basic API that enables you to add or delete rows and also initialize field values when end users add records via the grid controls UI. First, you can enable end users to add and delete rows using an embedded navigator control. To do this, set the grid control dot use embedded navigator property to true. The navigator appears at the left bottom corner. Now run the application to see what can be done using the navigator. Click the append button to add a row. After you're done initializing cell values, you can post changes using the End Edit button. Note there's also a Cancel Changes button available. To delete rows, simply click the Delete button. Another way to add new rows is by using the New Item Row. To enable it, expand Options View, and set the New Item Row Position property to Top. The new item row is now displayed at the top of the grid. Run the application. Click the row, initialize cell values, and post the changes, which can be done by moving row focus or by pressing enter when the last row cell is focused. You can use the escape key to cancel adding a new row. If you're editing a cell, the first key press will discard changes to that cell. Press escape again to remove the entire row. Using the same property, you can position the new item row after all other records. In a similar fashion, you can start editing this row and then post the changes to create a new record. To facilitate end user input, you may want to predefine cell values in newly added rows. For this purpose, handle the init new row event, which fires whenever a row is being added via the grid controls UI. Use the event's row handle parameter to identify the row being added and write the current date and time into a cell. You may also need to provide custom UI for adding or deleting rows, like the Add Row Ribbon button in this example. In the Click Event Handler, call the View's Add New Row method. Similarly, you can add a Delete Row button whose click handler should call the Delete Row method to delete the currently focused row. Run the application and click the Add Row button. You can see that the date field value is automatically initialized with the current date. Now focus the newly added row and click the delete button to remove it. 